time. Please rise if you are able. And gentlemen, kindly remove your hats as we honor America and all who have served with the playing of our national anthem. prepare to meet and greet tonight's teams. First for Rochester. Available for substitution. Number three, Davis Remy. Number four, Dylan Hook. Number five, Luke Malkow. Number 12, Hunter Hancom. Number 15, Robert Bazo. Number 30, Jonas Kaiser. Number 32, Clark Grant. And number 34, Jack Reffitt. Your starting combination for the Zebras this evening. Number two, Drew Bowers. Number 11, Tanner Reynolds. Number 20, Owen Prater. Number 23, Bruce Walker. And number 24, four, Carson Pollock. The Zebras. Our coach by Rob Malka, who is assisted by Luke Smith and Rex Reinhold. They come into the next action at 8 and 7 overall. And now, Mr. Troyer, kill the lights. Plymouth Bay, get on your feet for your program. Available for substitution. Number 10, Dan DeWitt. Number 11, Trey. as they will take on uh, the Wabash Apaches and uh, at Warsaw for the Plymouth Pilgrims. And Wabash hosts, has a big game tonight at home against Frankton. Okay. So that will get, I mean, that will really help Wabash get ready for that big, big game Friday night at the RHS gym. Zebras at four and two in the conference really will need to run the table. Tip off brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America, securing the future of rural communities in agriculture. Also by Ellen Ava Boutique. Shop Ellen Ava and elevate your personal style. We're ready to go here now for the tip as they get the final announcements. 
We've got Chris Newbaum. We've got John Hampton. And we've got Mr. Is that Mr. Gomer. Gomer. Yeah. Here we go. And Plymouth controls the tip. And they'll take it. And Van Dyne will run the point. Van Dyne gives it off on the left side now to Walters. Back up top. They go down low to Ellery. Ellery up off the glass too hard. And Prater with a rebound. Here comes the Zebras. Zebras look to push. They get it out one on four. But Prater slows it up and will wait on somebody else to pick him up. And now he gives it off to Bowers. Bowers top the key. Bowers swings it now to the corner. Here's pa Carson Pollock. Three good for him. Zebras lead 3 nothing. Interestingly, they put Ellery on Bowers. Yeah. But it's about a seven-inch height advantage. <laughs> Van Dyne has it. Now goes to the right side to Bowling. Bowling dribbles in and travels. And not a good start for Plymouth offensively. First they miss a bunny under the rim and then yeah. they travel. Scoreboard being brought to you tonight by Jennings Insurance and King's Jewelry. 3-0 Rochester leads with 45 seconds gone by. Zebra basketball comes to the near side now to Prater. Prater fakes the handoff to Reinerts. Back up top. Now Bowers has it. Bowers into the lane. Pull up jumper. And it's good. Drew Bowers has his first two of the night. 5 nothing Rochester. Yeah, I really sensed after that Lewis Cass game that Coach Malco wants Drew to take some more, just be more involved offensively. Quick three on the way for Wolf's good. Preston Wolf gets the Plymouth Pilgrims on the board, and it's a 5-3 contest now with 6.50 to go here in this first quarter. Bogger around the defender, up off the short, off the front of the iron. And Ellery with the rebound. Ellery quickly out to Walters. Walters into the corner to Wolf again for three. Off the mark, no good. This poor rebound pulled down by Prater. Quickly ahead to Bogger. Bogger has it on the far side. Bogger now top of the key. There's Tanner. Tanner fakes it, gives it up to Prater. Prater, he's in the paint. Pull up jumper. Off the mark, no good. And Ellery with a rebound. Ellery quickly ahead to Walters. Walters on the left side. Gives it up to Ellery. Down to the paint. He goes up and good. Caden Ellery with his two, and it's 5-5, tied with 6-10 to go. Zebras, one long pass, and they're down the floor. Here's Bogger for three. Good for him. Bryce Bogger gets in the scoring column. 8-5, to five, Rochester, well, two Bogger, minutes gone by. Bogger's gotten up to some slow starts in recent games. That's a very good sign for the Zebras. Walters for three from the left side. Short, rebound fought for Bowling, and he tips it and picked up by Van Dyne. Here's Wolf again for three off the mark. No good, rebound, come down to... Prater. Three rebounds for Prater already. Prater stolen by Wolf. Wolf to the glass. Layup up. Good. Wolf has five and the Pilgrims have seven. Rochester leads by one here with five and a half to go. A bad outlet pass by Owen Prater. Prater has the basketball. Tries to go down low to Bowers. Can't get it to him. Now they swing it up top to Pollock. To the near side now to Tanner. Into the corner to Bowers. Bowers down low to Prater. Kicks it out to Reiner. in the corner. He'll fire a three on the way. Good. Reinerts with three, and it's 11-7, Zebra lead. Well, again, Coach Malco talked a lot about poor rhythm, poor energy, yeah. uh, and that led to poor shooting against Lewis Cass. I think that was addressed in practice, <laughs> you, at least based on the first three minutes of this uh, game. It sure looks like it. Yeah, But, you know, Prater threw a bad outlet pass. But boy, Preston Wolf is really quick, though. I, Bowers knocks that out. Plymouth will retain. Up top now is, is Walters. Walters comes over to the near side now to Van Dyne. Back over to Walters. He'll penetrate in, kick it to Van Dyne in the corner now to Wolf. Wolf puts it on the floor, goes up, no good. Rebound Ellery. Ellery back up and good. Caden Ellery's got four, and it's 11 to 9. 445 to go here in this first quarter. Bowers with the basketball at the volleyball line. Bowers looks, goes to Bogger, now down in the corner to Reinerts. Reinerts. Surveys over the top. Here's Bowers, three from the corner. Short. Bogger with a rebound. Bogger into the paint, kicks it back out to Bowers. He goes against Wolf, dribbles in, kicks it back out. Pollock, the other corner, three. No good. Ellery with another rebound. Quickly out here's Plymouth. Four rebounds for Ellery. Van Dyne, he's going to take it right to the hole and strip and picks it back up. Goes up, no good. And a foul coming against Rochester. It's going to be their first of the quarter, and I believe it's going to be on Reinerts, and it is. Tanner picks up his first. 4.17 to go here on the Jennings Insurance and Bob's Cafe, or excuse me, Jennings Insurance and King's Jewelry scoreboard. 11 to 9, Plymouth with an opportunity to tie here with two free throws. He and Ellery have four points and four rebounds already. We haven't played four minutes yet. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Yeah. There's a missed free throw. Dan Wynn into the contest. He will replace, he replaces Walters. Second free throw on the way for Van Dyne. Gets that one to go. And Van Dyne will come out and coming in for him will be trade help. So first substitutions goes to Winnemac here with 4.15 to go. 
11-10, Rochester in Plymouth. the lead by one. Plymouth. Plymouth, yes. Here's Pollock with the basketball. Pollock guarded by Ellery, now gives it up to Bogger. Bogger guarded by Wolf, goes to the paint, kicks it out. Here's three on the way for Pollock, good. They did a switch, and Pollock wide open on the right-hand side. Caleb uh, Bowling is almost face guarding Owen Prater. Down near the other end, Bowling. Bowling throws up a shot, no good. Rebound to Reinhardt, but Bowling knocks it down. And now a foul going to be called against Drew Bowers as Bowers will pick up his first team second. And that will send Caleb Bowling back to the free, or to the free throw line for the first time. Well, Tanner Reiners with a nice rebound, but he brought the ball down. And they swarmed him as soon as he brought the ball below his neck. 346. Stripped him. Free throw good for Caleb. He's got one. And it's 14 to 11. Substitution, I'm going to be after the free throw if he makes it. As Bowling will come out if he makes the free throw. That one's good as well. He's got two points, and he'll come out, and Van Dyne will replace him. So just a quick break for Van Dyne. 3.46 to go in the opening quarter, 14-12. to 12. Rochester up by two. A little pressure put on in the backcourt. Win has it against Bowers. Bowers gives it up to Prater. Now down the corner to Pollock. 15-footer on the way for Carson. Too bad. And a rebound by Bowers as Carson kind of airballed that one, and right there was Bowers. Rebound in a bucket. Quickly downs Plymouth. Win with the basketball. Now gives it off to Van Dyne. Van Dyne, right side, against Prater. Drives the, or excuse me, against uh, Tanner. Drives the baseline, kicks it out. There's three for win. And now it's 15, 16, 15. Good ball reversal by both teams. Both teams really running yeah. their offense smoothly. Here's three for Bogger. In and out, no good. Rebounds fought for, and it's going to be Plymouth basketball. Last touch by Prater. 16-15 with still three minutes to go. Oh, and Prater wearing a... Uh, Zebras won a 30-second timeout. We'll take it here with 3:01 to go in this opening quarter. So being able to, to not let that ball get reversed so easily because when, when Plymouth gets the ball to the weak side, they're getting wide open shots. It's interesting, Owen Prater wearing kind of a wrap around his left yeah. thumb. Looks like I, it. Is that something new? It looks pretty new. That does look. It's funny, Owen really has that Plymouth mentality. Yeah. Uh, Coach Edison would have loved him back in, back in the day. Wolf with the basketball. They give it up to Ellery. Ellery into the paint, goes up over the front of the iron good. Caden Ellery's got six. And Plymouth takes the first lead of the contest, 17-16 at the 240 mark. Here's Bogger down low, kicks it out, stolen by Ellery. Ellery then has it tipped, but picked up by Delp. Delp gives it ahead to win. Three on the way, no good. Rebound, front four. Ellery comes away with it. It's loose on the floor, and we're going to have a tie-up. It'll go back to Rochester. Good effort on the boards there by yeah. Prater. Looked Everybody like, wanted that one. Looked like Ellery touched it first, got his hands on it first, but Prater kept scrapping. 17-16. Yeah. But again, that, kind of that undersized guard, yeah. kind of forward player. Owen Prater would have been a typical Plymouth player back in the day. Pr Prater down low, gets it to Bogger, and a foul going to be coming against Plymouth, but it's going to be on the floor. Van Dyne, I believe. And that is going to be on Trenton, his first, and team first with 2.16 to go. It'll be out of bounds. Coming back in will be Kobe Walters, and Van Dyne will sit down. First possession against the press. Rochester struggled with it a little bit. That time they really uh, dissected it pretty well. Get it in to Prater. Prater has the basketball. Prater gives it up to Bowers. Top the key to Reinert. Swings it near side now to Bogger. Bogger with it on the wing. Bogger cross court pass over to Bowers. Trying to go down low. They can't do so. Get it back up top to Bogger. To Reinert's in front of the Plymouth bench. Penetrates. Kicks it. Here's a corner to Bowers. Bowers back up top to Tanner. Head fake inside the three. Hard off the back the iron. Rebound. Comes away to Walters. Quickly ahead to Gwynn. Gwynn has it. Gwynn picks up his dribble. Now back to Walters. Walters goes to the hole. Up and layup's good. Kobe Walters with his first two. And now the Plymouth Pilgrims with a three-point lead. 96 seconds to go. Pollock with the basketball. Now goes off to Bogger. Bogger has it top of the key. Bogger against Delp. Gives it up to Carson. Pollock will hold. Now he'll go back up top to Bowers. Bowers in the paint. Throws up a running jumper. Good. Drew Bowers has six. Tough shot. Lynn was right in his yeah. jersey, and Bowers still able to get it to go. Still a one-point Plymouth lead, 19-18. 
Goes to the holes. Walters again throws up a shot underneath the basket, but gets his own rebound, goes up again, and he's going to be fouled. And I think that's going to be called on Carson Pollock, maybe. And it is. Pollock picks up his first, team third. And so uh, Kobe Walters will go to the line for the first time this evening with two points on a field goal. Free th uh, first one's good. Second one on the way. Uh, Wynn sits down and Van Dyne back in. Reinhardt sits down and in was uh, Hook, Dylan Hook in. Free throw missed the second one. Minute five to go here in this first quarter. Bogger with the basketball. Bogger into the paint, goes up. No good, but a foul coming. And I believe that's going to be whistled against Trey Delp. And it's going to be his first team second. Well, I was just uh, able to expose a size uh, mismatch there. You got 20 or 19? I have 20 to 18 is okay. the score. That's what I got. Scoreboard says 19, so I'm just making sure. Free throw was good for Bogger. Pollock, or excuse me, Reinhardt's in. Bowers will sit down. So Bogger has four now. It's 20 to 19. Second free throw, 20 20. After the second free throw is made. Here comes Delp with the basketball. Delp will bring it up under a minute to go. He's guarded by Reinhardt's. Reinhardt's. Playing good defense, makes him give it up to the Walters. Down the corner, here's Wolf for three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound to Reinerts. Reinerts quickly ahead. Pollock down the floor quickly. He kicks it back out to Hook. Dillon into the paint. Run over the top of the backboard too hard. Prater gets the rebound, can't throw it off the leg of Plymouth, and they pick it up. Here's Delp the other end to Wolf. Wolf now gives it up to Van Dyne. 25 seconds to go in the quarter, and they'll back it back out. Tied at 20. Zebra's in a man. Delp has it. Let's see if they try to bring Ellery off the weak side here. Gives it up to Van Dyne, top the key. Delp guarded by Hook. Now they go to Walters. Walters then is going to be double teamed. Walters comes out of that, kicks it out. Here's Wolf in the corner for three. In and out, no good. And Dylan Hook with the rebound, and that's going to do it for the quarter. We're going to be tied at 20 at the end of the first quarter. On the scoreboard, brought to you by Jennings Insurance and King's Jewelry. We're not at a 20 when we come back. Plymouth High School, second quarter, 92.1 WROI and 106.1 WTCA. Smoothly, they hit, what, four three-pointers in that first quarter. Um, but also, Drew Bowers was able to get going offensively with six points. Uh, you know, it seemed like Plymouth really likes that corner three. It also seemed like Plymouth defensively, they'll, they'll want to run Tanner Reiners off the three-point line. If Tanner hits a bunch of long twos, so be it, but they don't want him shooting threes. Plymouth starting the quarter with the basketball, being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America and Ellen Ava Boutique. Only three combined turnovers by the two teams in the first quarter, two by Rochester and one by Plymouth. So both teams protected the ball pretty well. Try to go down low, and it's going to be kicked out of bounds. It'll stay with Plymouth underneath their own basket. Just nine seconds gone by here in this second quarter. They get it into Ellery. Now to Van Dyne. Van Dyne goes into the corner to Wolf. Wolf back up top to Van Dyne. Now he gets it up to Delp. Delp looks over to Coach Grendel and gets a play. Delp calls it out. They'll run it now from the top. Gives it to Wolf. Back to uh, Delp. Delp over to Wolf. The alley oop to uh, Ellery. Misses it. Leaves it short. And a rebound comes to Ellery. Back up and good. <laughs> Ellery with eight. Yeah, I know Coach Grindle lo loves that that uh, weak side alley you play, that uh, back screen lob. Here is Rochester with the basketball. Top of the key is Bogger. Bogger now down in the corner. Ref it into the contest to start the quarter for Rochester. Bogger has it. Bogger, one dribble. Now to Ref it. Ref it top of the key against Delp. Over to Bowers, guarded by Van Dyne. Into the paint. Gives it up to Ref it. Ref it. Down low to Wolf. Goes up, head fake. Good to foul. Nice head fake by Owen Prater for his first points of the night. He gets Preston Wolf off his feet, and that's the first foul on him and the first of the quarter. What a nice pass by Jack Reffitt. You don't usually think of Jack for his passing. <laughs> Solid but open that was, guy. Yeah. That was nifty. 22-22. Trying to break the tie here is Prater with his old-fashioned three-point play, and he does. 23-22. Zebras take the lead by one. 
Let's Here's see. It. Yeah, I don't think. Walters has the basketball down low, and there it is. They try to rush it. And the Zebra playing good defense to throw it out of bounds, well, turnover Plymouth. Now, if you're a Plymouth fan and you're watching or listening to us and, and you're like, boy, does it seem like Rochester switches defense almost every possession? Well, yeah, they do kind of. Here's three for Reinhardt's good from the wing. Reinhardt's now with six. 26-22. Here comes Plymouth. They give it to Ellery. Ellery now to Wolf on the, on the wing. Back up top to Van Dyne. Down low it goes to Walters. Walters shot up, no good. Ellery gets a rebound, throws it up, no good. Rebound comes to Bogger, and we're going to have a foul. And going to be the second of the quarter for Plymouth, and that's going to be on Caden Ellery, his first, team second. And Bowling will come back in, and Van Dyne will sit down for Plymouth. Yeah, the problem is when Rochester goes zone, Plymouth usually gets the looks they want. When Rochester goes man, the problem is who guards Ellery. Bryce Bogger's trying but it's, it's just a tough matchup. Fortunately, token uh, pressure now in the backcourt. Ellery missed about a five-footer there in the paint. They get it to Bogger. Bogger has the basketball. Now to Reinerts. Reinerts at the free throw line. Reinerts has it. Now back over to Bogger. 6.05 to go here in the first half. Bowers loses it, but, yep, there's the travel. I was going to say, thought he might have got away with it, but uh, they caught him on that one. Turnover, Rochester. Winnemac leads Logansport 17-12 to into the first quarter. 6.02 to go here in this second quarter at Plymouth High School. Zebra is up 26-22 on the Jennings Insurance and Kings Jewelry scoreboard. Here is Bowling to Walters. Down low now. Here's Wolf. Three on the way. Good for Preston Wolf. Tough shot. That was about, what, three or four feet behind the line. Wolf has eight on the night. Prater loses it out of bounds. Turnover, Rochester. Another turnover. We talked about taking care of the basketball in the first quarter, and now both teams have had a few here early in the second quarter. Turnover number four for Rochester. Five and a half to go before halftime. 26-25, a one-point game. And Rochester back in a man. Here's Ellery with it. Ellery double teamed, and there's a charge. Yep. Ellery is going to be whistled for his second. Team's third. As that spin move, Rochester was able to sit there and wait on it. And now Ellery picks up two, and Coach Grindle's going to have to go to the bench. And Van Dyne will come back in for Ellery. 5.22 to go. Here comes Rochester with the basketball. Bowers has it. Bowers brings it to the top of the key, picks up his dribble, gives it off to Prater at the free throw line, traveled. Yep, shuffled the feet as he kind of caught it awkward and tried to get his feet back under him and he couldn't do so. Turnover on the Zebras. Plymouth with the basketball back. Here's Delp with it. 5.05 to go here before halftime. Delp to Wolf. Wolf again on the wing. Gives it up at top to Bowling. Over to Delp. Three on the way for him. No good. Rebound fought for. Zebras come away with it. Here comes Tanner Reinerts. Crosses the timeline. Reinerts has it. Now goes off to Reffitt, cross-court pass over to Bowers. He'll shoot a three on the way, good. Through his first three of the night. Another four. good skip pass. Yeah, great skip pass. 29-25, here in the other ends, Van Dyne quickly up, no good. And Prater with a rebound, out to Bogger. Bogger, right down the middle, throws up a running jumper, misses it, rebound, comes away to Plymouth. Van Dyne will quickly bring it up the sideline. Now over to Bowling. Bowling into the paint. Stops. Kicks it back out to Walters. Back over to Van Dyne. Van Dyne gives it up to Delp. Into the corner to Wolf. He'll fire a three. Off the mark. No good. And Prater with another rebound. It's eight rebounds for Owen Prater. <laughs> Prater off to Reinerts. They swing it to Bowers. Bowers in front of the Plymouth bench. Down low to wide open. Prater good. And Coach Grindle wants a timeout. And let's see if he gets Caden Ellery back in the game because Three. Rochester scored five straight points since Ellery went out. 3.56 to go. It's a full timeout. We'll take one as well. Zebras lead 31-25. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Or just been an inspired play of Owen Prater. Owen with... He's a rebounding uh, machine. Five, he? five points and eight <laughs> rebounds already. And combined with what he's been... I mean, combined with what he's doing on the defensive end yeah. as well. Here is Delp with the basketball. Delp guarded against Reffitt. 
Now they give it over to Walters, back to Wolf. Wolf drives in, kicks it back to Bowling. Top of the key to Van Dyne. Right side to swing it, now into Wolf. Wolf in the corner. Wolf has his pass knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Plymouth. Mm, Drew Bowers gets in the way defensively. Mazo checked in on that last timeout. Prater will get a breather, and Carson Pollock will come back in. 3.36 to go here in this second quarter. On the floor for Rochester, it's Reinerts, Pollock, Reffitt, Bowers, and Bazo. For Plymouth, it's Delp, Van Dyne, Bowling, Walters, and Wolf. There is Walters going to the hole, no good. And a rebound comes away to Tanner Reinerts. Nice defense by Robert Bazo. Up ahead to Reffitt, back to Reinerts. Reinerts into the paint, pull up jumper, good. Eight now for Reinerts. 33-25. He's just playing with a lot of confidence, isn't he? Tanner Reinerts. Here's Delp with the basketball for Plymouth. Delp gives it off to Wolf. Wolf fadeaway jumper, no good. Reinerts with another rebound. Quickly ahead to Pollock. Pollock looking. Now it finds Reffitt. Reffitt has it. Reffitt to cutting Bazo. Can't handle the pass, but catches it. Gets it back out to Wolf. Or excuse me, to Pollock. Now to Bowers. Bowers. Bowers, top of the key, Bowers. Now down low to Reinerts. He's guarded by Walters. Cross court to Bazo. He'll fire a three off the mark, no good. Battles for his room, rebound, but knocks it out of the hands oh, of Bowers. A bad break. Quickly downs Wolf. Wolf thought about a three. He'll pass it up, give it up top now to Van Dyne. Van Dyne will hold. I mean, Bowers had the rebound. <laughs> yes. Robert Bazo just plowed right into him. Just Back both, to, both going hard for the ball, just that happens. Sometimes. Back to Wolf. Wolf has the basketball, now gives it up to Delp. Delp to Van Dyne, 2.10 to go, 33-25, Rochester on top. Bowling has it, right side, Bowling, looks into Walters, off the glass, good. Kobe Walters with his first points of the quarter. 33-27, under two minutes to go here before halftime. Nice finish by Walters, that was not easy. Reinerts down low against Delp, can't get it, gets his own rebound, put it back up and good. 35-27, 35-27, Reinerts was determined there. Now he gives it up to Wolf. Wolf on the other side. Wolf back over to Walters. Cross court pass to Delp, three for him, good. Good screen by Van Dyne to get him open. Trey Delp with his first points of the night. 35-30 with 125 to go here in the first half. Into Bowers, Bowers guarded by Delp and travel. Substitutions, two of them for both teams. Win coming back in for yeah. Delp and also coming in for the first time, Ryan Tremaine. He'll come in for Wolf for Rochester. Dylan Hooks back in and Owen Prater back in. I don't think Coach Malco was wild about that call. I think he thought there was a foul before that led to the travel. Yeah. Here's Win with the basketball now to Walters. Walters gives it up to Bowling. Bowling. Over to Tremaine, he'll fire a three off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes to Bowling. Bowling, back up top to Van Dyne. Three on the way for Plymouth, no good. Reinerts with the rebound. That's six rebounds for Reinerts. Reinerts with a quick outlet to Reffitt. Reffitt, cross-court pass to Pollock. Three for him, good. Pollock's got nine. Three threes on the night. It's 38-30 with 40 seconds to go. Boy, Pollock's three-point shot has just looked pretty coming out of his hand tonight. He's so much improved since the start of the year. Win with the basketball for Plymouth. Win against Pollock. Goes around him. Throws it in the corner. Here's Tremaine for three. No good, but a foul coming as he... So it looks like Prater got it on the arm. Prater going to be his first. Team first of the quarter, and that will send Ryan Tremaine to the line to shoot three free throws. Coach Malco didn't like it, but I, I his, think it's the right as animated a reaction as you get from Coach Malco, but I don't know <laughs> if that was who he was quite upset with. Yeah, free throws was, missed, first one. With the official or his player, but uh, I think Tremaine sold it. Yeah. Sold it well. Powers. And Barger getting ready to check back in. Second free throw by Tremaine is good. Well, Rochester scored 44 the entire game against Lewis Cass the other night. Already with 38 tonight, and we've got 31.5 seconds to go in the half. For, uh, excuse me, Reinerts and, and uh, Ruffett out for Rochester. No, Tremaine with the third free throw. Nobody in Rochester with more than one foul. Tremaine's second free throw, or third free throw is good. 
38-32. Tremaine will come out and Delp back in with 31 and a half to go before halftime. Bowers has the basketball. Bowers. Bring it across the timeline. Bowers guarded by Walters. Gives it up to Pollock. Pollock against Bowling. Top of the key. Now to Hook. Hook has the basketball way out front. Now they give it to Barger. They give and go, and it's tipped and stolen. Here is Van Dyne ahead to Bowling. Bowling has it swatted out of there by Barger. Picked up by Wynn. His shot's going to be partially blocked. It goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Plymouth with 5.7 seconds to go. You don't hardly see too many blocks for Rochester overall. We had two in one possession. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, they, they ran uh, Wynn off the three-point line, but then and he thought he was open from, from the baseline, but uh, Bogger was there to block the shot. Let's see what Wolf comes runs in. their best inbounds play, and they put Ellery back in now. Nope, he's still sitting. Wolf will inbound it. Reinhardt's back into the game as well. Four seconds. They give it to Wolf in the corner. Wolf head fakes it. Two-pointer on the way at the buzzer. That's going to do it. No good. And at halftime, Plymouth 32, Rochester 38 on the Jennings Insurance and King's Jewelry scoreboard. When we come back to halftime show, brought to you by Rochester Iron and Metal and by Middle Point Boutique in an event venue. Seven threes, and uh, three of them come from Carson Pollock, the sophomore. <laughs> Great shooting night for him so far. Three threes for Plymouth. So here it is, Zebras with the basketball. Original starting five on the floor for both teams. Bowers has it. Bowers goes to the towards the Rochester bench. Now picks it up to Prater. Prater looking, gives it back to the top. The key to Bowers. Bowers dribbles in. Bowers finds Reinerts. Guarded by Ellery. Reinerts kicks back up to Bogger. Bogger has it top of the key against Van Dyne. Crossover. Now gives it back out to Bowers. Now to Prater. Prater in the corner. Dribbles back up top. Here's, here's Reinerts. His pass is tipped and picked up by Bogger. Bogger to Prater. Down low to Reinerts. Reinerts up off the glass. Too hard. And Ellery fights for the rebound. Comes away with it. I think Ellery got a fair tip. Bowers gets a steal. Quickly down. Prater the other side. And it's going to be three now on Ellery. I think uh, Kate Ellery just got in a little hurry on, on that rebound. And yeah. Bowers sprinting from behind was able to get that pass. Coach Grendel, pointed look of disappointment after that third foul on him. No, they didn't call it on Ellery. My apologies. They called it on Bowling, his first. Bowling gets the foul. Free throw for Prater is good. Prater now up to six. So my apologies. Caden Ellery just with two. Bowling picked that foul up. I think. They keep putting scores up. Nope. Ellery gets the rebound. Might have been on Van Dyne. Well, now they put Van Dyne up there for two. So, <laughs> scoreboard uh, all over the place. Now Plymouth with the basketball for the first time. Ellery has it. Now kicks it back out. Here's Walters. Walters, little floating jumper, good. Walters has seven, and it's 39-34. Yeah, Walters just very creative in that mid-range. Here is Bogger in the corner, guarded by Van Dyne. Van Dyne goes up top to Pollock. Pollock for the Zebras, gives it back over to Prater. Prater goes baseline. Prater against Van Dyne, now going to have to kick it back out. Bogger has it. Bogger to the hole, blocked by Van Dyne, picked up by Wolf. Preston Wolf ahead. His pass is going to be kicked by Bowers. And it'll stop everything, and Plymouth will get the reset. But that was a really nice block by Van Dyne because he's giving up some yeah. size to Bogger. Walter oh. listed what 6'2", 6'3", Van Dyne, six feet even. Walters to inbound. Gets it in to Bowling. Bowling, top of the key. Bowling goes towards the bench. Now brings it back over to Ellery. Ellery on the wing. Goes down low to Bowling. Bowling has it stripped into the hands of Bogger. I think it was Pollock who stripped it. Quickly ahead to Reinerts. Three on the way for Tanner. No good. Ellery with the rebound. Ellery has it. Quickly ahead, and not looking was Wolf, but luckily saved by Walters. Oh, that was miraculous how that <laughs> pass got there. Now to Van Dyne. Van Dyne in the wing. Van Dyne to the elbow. Gives it up to Wolf. Wolf, he'll penetrate in. Has it knocked loose. It'll stay with Plymouth underneath their own basket. 5.56 to go here in this 
That play was Third designed quarter. for a high ball screen yeah. and then let Preston Wolf run downhill, and I think Coach Malco didn't like the way Rochester defended that. Zebra's going to call a 30-second timeout here with 5.56 to go, 39-34, Zebra's lead. Wabash leads Frankton 40-25 to at the end of three quarters. Of course, Rochester plays Wabash on Friday. Uh, Plymouth Pilgrims will inbound after the Zebra timeout. They get it into Ellery. Ellery is swarmed, and the ball is knocked loose, picked up by Prater. That's three turnovers already this half for Plymouth. The only three the entire first half. Here's Tanner Reinerts now off to Pollock. Pollock in the corner. Pollock over the top to Bowers. Almost loses it. Now he does as he can't control it as he comes down. So it'll be a turn turnover on the Zebras. Well, the Pilgrims learned their lesson after Carson Pollock hit three threes in the first half. They ran right on him. <laughs> Van Dyne ran right on him. Tuman closed him out before he could even look at the rim and Led to the turnover. Here's Wolf with the basketball. Wolf gives it up to Ellery. Ellery in front of the Plymouth bench. He'll pull a trigger. Good. Caden Ellery has 10. And it's 39 36. Rochester by three. Here is Bowers with it. Off to Pollock. Pollock back to Bowers. To Bogger. Swings it. Here's three for Reinerts. Good. Reinerts has 13. Yeah, 13 against Lewis Cass the other game the other day. 42-36. Here is Van Dyne. Top to Ellery. Ellery, spin move into the paint, and we're going to have a foul. We'll wait and see who for sure it is on as the officials talk about it. It's going to be whistled against Prayer, his second, team first. Well, Ellery's just explosive. When he goes to that spin move, yeah. that is hard to defend. Ten points on the night. First free throw is coming for Caden Ellery. That one's good. Make it 13 for Ellery. Win coming back in, and Van Dyne will sit down and ref it in. And Pollock will sit down for Rochester. Just not many guys Rochester will face who are 6'5 yeah. and can handle the ball like that and then spin and penetrate into the lane. 42-37. that was after he just hit a 15-footer the other, the previous possession. Right. Hits both free throws. 42-38. Under five to go here in the third quarter. Paul, or Prater looking. Gets it to Bogger in the paint. Bogger against Wynn. Bogger back to a cut by Prater. Up and good. Nice cut by Prater. 44-38. Prater saw the defender's back. That was turned and went to the back cut. Beautiful pass by Bogger. Bowling, an open shot in the mitten. Paint good. Caleb Bowling with four. 44-40, four-point game. Reinerts fakes a three, drives in, kicks it back out to Bowers. Bowers pull up jumper, 15-footer, good. Drew Bowers now in double digits with 11. 46-40. Here's Wynn with the basketball, gives it to Ellery. Ellery can't handle it and does not save it as he tries to throw it and a wild throw and it'll be out of bounds to Rochester. Yeah, Dan Wynn almost saved that. Great effort by yeah. Wynn, but great effort by both Ellery and Wynn, but it's a turnover. That's turnover number four this half and number seven for the game for Plymouth. Bowers has it now with 4.05 to go in the third quarter. 46-40. Bowers comes to Reffitt's side. Reffitt holds on the wing. Reffitt has it. Reffitt looking, looking. Picks up his dribble, now gets it up to Bowers. Back over to Reinerts in the corner. Reinerts around his defender, down low to Prater, who runs into Ellery, and he'll dribble it back out. Here's Prater. Now to ref it. Deep three for Jack. Good. That was almost like a five-out type of offense yeah. for the Zebras. That's, it's a really good shooting uh, group that yeah. Rochester has out there. I know Pollock's on the bench, but still the guys they have out there can shoot, and Jack Ruffett has his first three. 49-40, 3.30 to go here in the third. You know, Jack Ruffett was almost a hero against Lewis yeah. Cassie. He had some big shots the other day. It kind of got gotten forgotten the loss. Here is Wolf. Wolf dribbles around the screen, top of the key, now gives it up. Here's three on the way for Walters, way off the mark. Tough shot. Ruffett with a rebound. Ruffett pushes ahead to Bowers. Now down low to Reinerts. Reinerts, top of the key to Bogger. Bogger into the paint. Kicks it back to Reinerts. Down low to Prater. Into the paint against Wolf. Pull up jumper. In and out. No good. Ellery with a rebound. Here, eight, re eight rebounds for Ellery. Here comes Ellery. He's going coast to coast. Spin move blocked oh. by Reinerts. Oh. Picked up by Bowers. Bowers at the other end. It is going to be fouled. And he'll go to the line and shoot two. That one's going to be whistled against Walters. 
I'm Wallace telling you, Tanner Reinhardt is playing with a lot of confidence he right now. Tonight. Definitely picked up the pace. You know, when, Ry when Rochester needed that big three-pointer to tie the game at Lewis Cass the other day, it was Reinhardt who drilled a 25-footer. And that Bowers free throw is missed. And coming in will be Van Dyne, and coming out will be Bowling. It's not my fault. <laughs> I haven't said anything about Rochester's free throw shooting tonight. They just missed that one on his own. Second one is good this time. 12 points now for Bowers. And a double-digit lead for the first time. 50-40. Here's Wayne with the basketball to Wolf. Wolf has it against Bowers. Wolf. Swings it on the far side now to win into the free throw line. Kicks it back out. Into the paint goes Walters, but he has it uh, knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Plymouth underneath their own basket. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here tonight in Giant FM and RTC TV4. Steve and Caleb on the cameras. Always appreciate their work. Inbound pass is fouled and go to the line to shoot two, I believe. And it's going to be on Reinerts. It's going to be Tanner's second, team second of the quarter. And that will send Ellery back to the free throw line. Ellery, two for two on the night. He's got uh, 14, 12 points, sorry. Make it 13, trying for 14. 50 41, back under 10. Ellery looking for another free throw. Second one. Short, Reinhardt's with the rebound. Quickly out to Reffitt. Rochester pushes. Here's Bowers now down in the corner. Three for Reffitt to the wing. In and out, no good. Wolf with the rebound. Gives it up to Van Dyne. Crater might have gotten away with one there. Van Dyne to Wolf. Wolf now to Walters. Back to Wolf. Top of the key to Van Dyne. 2.05 to go here in the third. They swing it to Wolf. He'll fire a three from the wing. Good. Preston Wolf now with 11. 50-44. Quickly down and a steal by Plymouth. They look to push. Here comes Van Dyne to win. Win has the basketball up top. Now he goes over to Wolf. Wolf top of the key against Bowers. Now to Van Dyne. Guarded by Prater. Goes into the paint. Spin move. Goes up off the glass. Good to foul. And that foul is going to be whistled against Prater. That's his third and the team third of the quarter. Zebras will bring Pollock and Hook back in. Prater and Bogger will sit down. That was nifty by Van Dyne. We haven't, yeah, off the dribble. And that's three personals now on Prater. Van Dyne going to the line to complete the old fashioned three point play. And he does. He's got four points on the night. And it's 50-47, just down to a three-point zebra lead. Here's Bowers with the basketball. 90 seconds remain. Bowers in the hook, down low, blocked by Ellery. Ellery, quick outlet to Walters. Right-hand layup, up and good. 50-49. One-point lead now for the Zebras. Here's Reinerts. Reinerts to Pollock, into the corner to Bowers. Cross-court pass. Tanner Reinhardt's three from the wing off the mark, no good. Van Dyne with a rebound. Van Dyne will look to bring it across the timeline. 60 seconds here in the third. Ellery with it. Ellery over to Walters. Walters thinks about a three, passes it up, gives it up to Van Dyne. Van Dyne will bring it back out with 50 seconds. Now to Walters. Walters will hold right in front of Coach Grindel. Now he'll walk it back up top. 40 seconds to go here in the third. 50-49, Rochester by one. They're trying to run a screen along the baseline to get Wolf open, but Bowers and Prater, excuse me, Bowers and Reffitt communicated well through that. Now, Wayne will give it to Van Dyne with 28 seconds. Zebra's out in a man. Plymouth on a 9-0 run, and it took him about a minute and a half to get the nine points. Now here's Van Dyne, guarded by Pollock. Van Dyne puts it on the deck, now brings it up, gives hands it off to Walters. Walters. To the paint, kicks it out to Wolf, and it's knocked out of bounds by Rochester. And the Zebras look to trap here on this inbounds with 12.8 seconds to go. Drew Bauer shows those quick hands and knocks it out of bounds. Hockey substitutions, three for Rochester as they'll bring in Bogger, Bazo, and Prater. Hook 
Reinerts reference it down. 12.8 seconds to go. Walters will win about it. Walters gets it into Van Dyne. Van Dyne, spin move against Bazo to the hole, up and good. And that foul is going to be whistled against Bazo. Bazo picks up his fourth, team fourth, and Plymouth takes a one point lead, trying for two. And Bowling will come in for Ellery. You know, they set up uh, Ellery and Preston Wolf on the weak side, and the yeah. Zebras were so concerned about those two guys and kind of were they going to run like an overload set. Instead, they just isolated Van Dyne in space, and he made a beautiful move. Van Dyne trying to push this lead now to two. And can't do it. Rebound fought for. Pre- uh, Polly comes away with it. Zebras have it with five. Prater has it with three. Prater then has it knocked out of bounds by Van Dyne with 1.9 seconds to go. And Tremaine will come in, and he will get Van Dyne. Bowers will inbound for the Zebras underneath their own basket. 1.9 to go here in the third. 51-50 Plymouth. They get it into Barger. He'll fire at the buzzer. No. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Plymouth takes the lead at 51 to 50 as we head to the fourth and final quarter here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Ready to go, brought to you by Ellen Ava Boutique. Shop Ellen Ava and elevate your personal style and buy Farm Credit Mid America, scaring the future of rural communities and agriculture. It'll be Plymouth basketball leading by one. Final score Caston uh, has defeated Argus 45 44. Here is. Plymouth with it. They get it into Walters in the corner. Walters back to Wolf. He'll fire a quick three. Good for Wolf. Uh, Wolf. Preston Wolf now with 14. Well, when he gets his feet set, he is deadly. Now here's Reinerts. Now off to Bogger. Zebras trail by four. Bogger has it up top to ref it. Now to Reinerts. Down low to Prater. Prater has the basketball into the paint. Prater's going to have to hurry. Finally gets rid of it. Off to Bogger. Back to Prater now in the corner. Prater holds. Now puts it on the deck. Goes against Walters up off the glass. Good. Owen Prater with two more. 54-52. Good patience by Prater. And that's when he, you know, he's very, and he's very patient. He's just got good instincts on what to do out there. Ellery with it. Now over to Delp. Delp. Free throw lane jumper on the way, no. And a rebound comes away to Reinerts. Off to Reffitt, quickly down on the Zebras. Reffitt has it on the wing. Reffitt into the paint, kicks it back out to Bogger. Bogger thinks about a three, he'll put it on the floor. Now goes over to Pollock. Pollock right back down to low. Up top now to Pollock. 6.35 to go here in the fourth. 54, 52, three on the way for Bogger, no good. And Delp with a rebound, quickly up to Walters. Walters, crossover, into the middle, up and good. Kobe Walters has two more, 56-52. Prater with the basketball, and Coach Malco wants a timeout. It's a 60-second timeout with 6.17 to go. On the scoreboard brought to you by Kings Jewelry and Jennings Insurance, 56-52 Plymouth, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Six now. Right, I mean, uh, obviously Ellery's their main guy, but boy, Van Dyne, those two beautiful spin moves, it would seem like the, the, the team just really fed off that. And they are in a much better rhythm offensively. So 6-17 to go, 56-52. Here is Bowers with the basketball. Bowers around the screen by Reinerts, gives it back to him. Reinerts goes in the middle. Reinerts throws up a jumper, no good, and the rebound comes away to Walters. Good defense by Preston Wolf on Reinerts. Walters has the basketball. Walters, top of the key, thinks about a three, passes it up to Wolf. Wolf has it now over to Delp. Delp with the basketball to Wolf in front of Coach Grindle. Now down in the corner to Ellery. Back up top to Delp. Delp, here's a screen by Ellery. Three on the way for Wolf is good. Wolf's got two threes in the corner. Ellery with a great screen there. Got him open. Down low to Prater. Prater goes up off the glass and good. Owen Prater now with 12. 59-54. Five and a half to go. Bowling with the basketball. Into Waters. Cutting through. No good. Rebound Barger. Bryce with the basketball. Bryce quickly ahead to ref it. He'll fire a three in front of Coach Malco. No good. And a rebound comes to Delp. Probably a little too quick on that one. There's right. Wolf with I mean, it. 
he was open, and we've yeah. seen Jack hit tougher <laughs> shots than that. Uh, again, I, I'm sure Jack has the green line yeah. to take that shot. Del has it top of the key, and now they go to Wolf in front of the Plymouth bench, back up to Ellery. Ellery surveys everything, looking. Now here's Wolf in the other corner, three for him off the mark, no good. Reinerts for the rebound. Reinerts ahead to Bowers. Bowers stopped by Wolf. Now they go down low to Prater. Prater up off the glass, no, but a foul coming. And that looks like it's going to be whistled on Trey Delp. And that's going to be his first team first of the quarter. And you look at Owen Prater, he's six feet tall, but because of his strength down in the post, I mean, that's just a hard cover for Delp, who's giving up about yeah. two or three inches in height. Prater with 12 points, looking for two more at the free throw line. Owen Prater, good. 59-55. And coming back in will be Kaiser and Pollock. Reffitt and Bogger sit down. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here for Plymouth High School. It's been a dandy. We're not done yet with 4.45 to go here in the fourth. Prater trying to cut it to three. Free throw on the way is good. 59-56, Zebras trail by three to the Pilgrims. Jonas Kaiser in the game in Rochester going to the three-quarter court press. Kaiser at the top of that press. They get it across this Plymouth. Now Coach Grindle wants a timeout. And he's going to talk about it. The 32nd timeout with 4.34 to go. 59-56 on our scoreboard. 4.34 to go here in Plymouth, Indiana. Plymouth High School, the Rock. And it's a three-point game for the Plymouth Pilgrims leading 59-56. Just the uh, see timeouts remaining. Rochester has two. Plymouth has three. So at the 434 mark now, Coach Grindle will get it back in. Here's Walters with it. Gives it up to Bowling. Over to Ellery. Ellery at the block. Double team goes up strong. And he's going to be fouled. And the basket does not go in. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. And that's going to be on Reinert's his third. Help was a little late there. So Ellery with 13 points on the night. He'll be at the line for two more. Basically, Rochester had to foul Ellery to keep him from shooting a layup. Mm, that one does not fall. He'll have another opportunity. Reinhardt picks up his third. And team Plum first. Plymouth allows about 56 points a game, and Rochester's got 56. We've got so yeah. four and a half minutes to go. Free throw is good this time by Ellery. Prater with the basketball. Plymouth back up by four. Prater into the paint. Gives it up to Reinerts. Reinerts on the far side dribbles in. Now gives it up to Bowers. Running jumper to the lane. Good for Drew. 14 for Bowers. 60-58. Two-point lead. That mid-range jump shot is Drew Bowers at his best. There's pressure put on by the Zebras. But Walters breaks it. Pull-up jumper in the lane. No good. Ball's tipped. Kaiser with a rebound. Kaiser gives it up to Reinhardt. I was ready to mark that down. That's Walter's pet shot. <laughs> Here's Pollock with it. Into Prater. Guarded by Van Dyne. Kaiser now to Reinhardt's corner three. Got it. Excellent pass. Excellent ball movement. Almost rimmed out, but it fell. And the Zebras take a one-point lead. 61-60. 3.35 to go here in the fourth. Extra pass made by Jonas Kaiser. Great pass, too. Here's uh, Walters for three off the front of the iron. Bowers has it in rhythm. Bowers against Wolf. Pull up jumper at the elbow. Good. Two more for Drew. 63-60. He kind of felt uh, Wolf on his hip and was able to, knew where he wanted to go. Got to a spot. Van Dyne down low. Kicks it up top to Ellery. Ellery into Kaiser. And Kaiser, yeah, too much for Kaiser. N not a bad foul. You're not in the bonus. No, if you're, you're right. Rochester, not in the bonus and not in the act of shooting. And Kaiser's first foul, so it uh, didn't really hurt him either. So it'll be Plymouth basketball underneath their own basket. Well, it was 59-56 when Coach Grindle called timeout. 7-1 to one Rochester since the timeout. Win will inbound it. He's in for bowling. Win looking to get it in. Finally does to Walters. Top the Wolf. Now Van Dyne holds on the far side. Ellery has it top of the key. Ellery gives it up to Walters. Back to Van Dyne. Three minutes to go here in regulation. 63-60. 
Win with the basketball. Now off to Van Dyne. Van Dyne. Fakes the pass down low. Now gives it back up to Quinn. They're trying to get Wolf yeah, open. Bauer's doing and, a great job. And Pollock takes a step back on Van Dyne so he won't drive on him again. Here's Ellery down low. Spin move and a foul coming. And I think that one's going to be against Pollock. And it is. Carson Pollock picks up his second. Team third. And that will send Caden Ellery back to the line. Four for six so far tonight for Ellery. He's got 14 points. Ellery committed those two fouls in the first half, but he has not committed a foul this half, so he can play free and loose here in the Missed last free throw. 238. 63-60. 2.38 to go. Second one's good. Ellery now with 15. 63-61. Here quickly downs Bowers. Bowers with the basketball. Now to Kaiser. Kaiser gives it up to Prater. Prater to Reinerts. Reinerts dribbles in, has it knocked loose. Now he'll give it to Kaiser. Back to Bowers. Bowers has the basketball on the far side. Bowers. He put, gives, a, bit, put a bigger defender in Walters on Bowers. Yeah. Bowers pull up three. Short. Ellery with the rebound. 63-61. Here comes Plymouth looking for the tie or the lead. Not a great possession for the Zebras. Win has it blocked by Prater. Picked up by Reinerts. Reinerts with under two to go. Gives it off to Prater to Kaiser. Kaiser, a couple dribbles into the paint. Kicks it back, but stolen by Wolf. Wolf, right hand layup up and good. Wolf ties the ball game at 63, and we got a timeout by Coach Grindle. It is a full full timeout. 63-63 here at Portland High School. Minute 44 to go. Giant FM and RTC TV4. After the timeout, it's Zebra basketball. They have it on the end. Guarded by Bowers had it, cut off by Ellery. Bowers into the hole, down low to Prater. Prater goes up strong and a block by Ellery. Rebound Ellery. Ahead to Van Dyne. 63-63, a minute 20 to go. Van Dyne will pull it back out and gives it up to Bowling. Bowling with the basketball. Bowling to Walters. Walters around the screen. Walters to the hole, up and good. 65-63, a two-point Plymouth game. 60 seconds remaining in regulation. Here's Bogger against Ellery. Bogger. Uh, Bowers and Reiner to your go-to guys. Here is Bowers. Three, top of the key, off the mark, no good. Bogger fights for the rebound against Ellery, and it's going to be off of Bogger Plymouth basketball. Tremendous play by Ellery. He tried to... Tried to save it, but unfortunately, Bogger was right there and it came off of his leg. So with 47.1 seconds to go, the Zebras will be in full court press. Trailing by two, 65-63. Here's Walters with it to Van Dyne. Van Dyne gets it across the timeline. Now to Walters. Walters looking, looking. Here's Wolf. Wolf has it with 35 seconds. Zebras are going to need to foul. We're going to wait and see who they decide to foul. Looks like they're going to try to foul Walters, and they do, finally. Bogger's going to be whistled for his first foul, team fourth. So the Zebras have one more before we shoot free throws. 29.7 seconds to go, two-point Plymouth lead. And keep in mind that Plymouth has committed only one team foul this quarter. They've got three fouls to give. Yeah. And if you're, if you're the Zebras, I don't think you can... Uh, take some time off the clock the next time you get the ball. I mean, obviously. Van Dyne gets it in, fouled. Win is fouled by Pollock, his third. There's the team fifth. So now Win will be at the line to shoot two. And Win's got three points. He hit a three in the first quarter. Hasn't scored since, but he has two free throws coming here. It to is. try to extend this to a two possession game. It's been over two minutes since Rochester last scored. And Coach Reno has way. to be happy with the defense. His team is, they haven't played great, de great defense as a whole this game, but they played great defense when they needed to. Free throw is good, 66-63. Three-point lead. Zebras won a timeout. 
28.8 seconds to go. One more free throw for Plymouth when we come back. Giant FM and RTC TV4. That's a lot of different possibilities if Wynn makes this second free throw. It's a two-possession game. I still think you need to shoot threes here, I, even if he may. Uh, actually, it's more likely you need to shoot threes if he makes the second free throw than he makes the first. But again, Plummet has only just three fouls to give. Second free throw is missed. Prater has a rebound, but we have a foul on Ellery. And Coach Crandall's probably not going to like that as, well, I guess it won't matter because it's only the second. Yeah, like really. Said, yeah, not a bad effort. Yeah, not a bad effort. I mean, Ellery's third. See if you can see if you can get one. So now a substitution win sits down, bowling in. 28.0 seconds. Again, the thing is, Plymouth yeah. will press. What scares you if you're Plymouth is that Reinerts can really create his own shot off the dribble. So can yeah. Bowers, but especially Reinerts. 66-63. Here comes Bowers with the basketball across the timeline. Bowers has it top of the key. Bowers around a screen by Prater. Now off to Pollock. Pollock has it with 16. Here's Bogger into the paint to Pollock. Corner three on the way for Carson. No good. Reinerts gets the rebound. Reinerts loses it. Stolen by Wolf. Ellery has it ahead to Van Dyne with three. Van Dyne has it with two. And finally a foul coming by Pollock on Van Dyne with 1.9 seconds remaining. Plymouth three-point lead. What a play by Trenton Van Dyne to strip Reinerts after Reinerts got the offensive board. Yeah. Quick hands, and he got it clean, and Trenton Van Dyne has been one of the heroes for Plymouth tonight. He and has. Not yeah. a lot of scoring, but uh, some great defensive plays for him. Yeah, and they're about one free throw away from wrapping up this game. Coach Malko uses his final timeout. It's a 60-second timeout with 1.9 remaining. 66-63, back with this after this timeout. Take his own three and try to t tie the game, but Van Dyne had other ideas. He stripped him clean. And so the Zebras still have 1.9 seconds to go, but two big free throws here for Trenton Van Dyne, the six-foot junior. Takes his time. The first one is up and good. Ice in the veins. And this time, 67 is going to win a close one. 67-63. Unless something really weird. Happens. Plymouth pulls off everyone off the line. Van Dyne's second one is no good. Barger with the rebound, and he'll chuck it to the other end, and that'll do it. The final score tonight on the Jennings Insurance at King's Jewelry Scoreboard. Plymouth wins it by four, 67-63. Here on Giant FM and RTC TV4, we'll come back with the postgames after this timeout. <laughs> 